So we're now gonna quickly look at mobile emulation. Uh, we're not gonna to go too deep into this because there's a lot you can just figure out for yourself, but it's good to know uh, that it's there as part of the Chrome developer tools. So when you are developing responsive websites, you want a general idea of what they're gonna look like on different viewports. Now, of course, what you can do is uh, with your basic page that you've laid out, uh, we've got a meta viewport tag just here with the sort of standard responsive content, and we have a body with just text. Obviously, what you can do is just go ahead and pull your browser window in just to see what this looks like. Another great tip, by the way, is you can actually detach this. So you can go ahead and just pull that off and you can have it wherever you need it. So if you are sort of pulling this in to test anything, uh, it's really useful just to have this here. You can go ahead and do whatever you want with it. But really, uh, the best part about uh, the mobile emulation Chrome developer tools is you just hit this button and you can go ahead and start playing around with different device sizes. So let's just get rid of the Chrome developer tools uh, for a minute. So I won't actually close it off altogether. I'll just detach it, just pull it down here. So here we have uh, an Apple iPhone 6, but we can change this to really any device on here. So for example, a Nexus 5, that will give me uh, the uh, device size for a Nexus 5. Uh, there are other useful things here. So for example, we can change the user agent. So if you are, uh, for some reason, detecting a user agent, which obviously isn't a good idea, or if you're doing anything really here, you can just go ahead and play around and modify this value. And obviously what it says here is you might need to reload the page for proper user agent spoofing and viewport rendering. So if you do have any problems, just go ahead and refresh the page like that. So you have this sort of like uh, sort of circle here where we can click and do what we would normally do with links or whatever. We can manually change the device size here as well. Uh, we can change the throttling. So for example, we can change the uh, speed in which the page is uh, actually accessed, which is really useful. We can go ahead and increase the size uh, as we would normally see. And really this is just pretty useful if you are uh, doing responsive web development this uh, is a great tool to use just to just roughly check uh, what what you'd normally see on here so for example we could choose a uh, kindle fire and we get this so it's a tablet here um, really just very useful it obviously doesn't replace uh, testing on a real device but it's the next best thing to doing so and you can do it all within the browser uh, really easily. So that is a very brief introduction to device emulation with Chrome developer tools.